Let's kick, let's fight, let's make it exciting. They, they've definitely done that. We might need three counters on the scoreboard soon. You know, there's, there's going to be the first 100-point match. You know, that's yeah, gonna we're going to see one. That's going to be, you know, can you get to 100 without getting 10 gum johns? You know, yeah, that's yeah. going to be the interesting. And it's going to be a 20-point margin as well. So it's going to be 100 to 81 or something like that. It's not going to happen, is it? But, so. It might be tough. <laughs> now, we're just going to probably have to call this player from Thailand, Thailand, because we are going to butcher this name here in the finals. But... Boy, he's been solid. He has just been solid uh, all day long. He starts off with a punch right off the bat and scores. Well, it's Sarek Wirari, which uh, it's unusual with a H in the middle of the name. Right. But uh, Rodriguez from Mexico and Sarek Wirari. It's hard to say that with a H in the middle, isn't it? It's yeah, it is. Wirari. There you go. It's like a silent H almost. So anyway, what, Wirari, you're doing a great job. So go. I'll we let you continue it. to do it. You um, just said it. Um, yeah, Cesar Rodriguez, you know, uh, you know, an elite player from Mexico, Finway team member for about as long as I can remember. So so we know he's good. We know he's going to be solid in this match. But uh, the Thailand players really started off hot and got him with three punches and a body kick and another body kick and another body kick. And then here comes Cesar with a head kick. Fin we have a flurry here. Oh, my goodness. We've had, we've had four or five technique score within the last six seconds. This is incredible. It's twelve six. We've only had forty seconds. No, and, and they all, they all, most of those oh. points have come in the last few minutes. So that didn't score. So that means he got it with a calf, more of the calf than he did the foot yeah. part of it with the sensor. So and that's pretty, that's pretty common when you got these kind of guys with that flexibility. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have a card here. Yeah, I don't I know. Think, uh, oh. It's an interesting card. This will be interesting to see. Yeah. Oh, he did. He did fall down. So, the Thailand coaches. It caught it. He's, he's looking for a uh, gomjom for the uh, yeah. Mexican player hitting the ground or putting his hand on the ground. Well, uh, Savic Wurvi is uh, the number three ranked uh, player in this competition. He won 28-8 in the first match um, against uh, against Carillon of Mexico. Then it was an 11-5 victory over Belgium's Willemsen. Then he beat, uh, in the next round, it was DeSanto by, uh, I think it was 21-10 there. Um, and... Uh, it was a 24-4 victory in the semi-final over the number two ranked player and the world ranked number three, Jack Woolley. So he's beaten somebody higher ranked than him to get through to this final. As for Rodriguez, Rodriguez is, uh, well, he's the top seed here. He, uh, he won 34-9 in the first match, 11-6 against Melo of Brazil. Um, a comfortable victory over Hernandez of um, Mexico almost, but also by 10 points to eight. And uh, I missed one out there as well, somewhere along the route. But he's, 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 you know, he's won fairly comfortably. The semifinal was the tightest at 10 points to eight. That was a great semifinal over there. I got to see parts of that action, and and uh, it, it was wonderful. The hard pace, but again, guys covering well, you know, following their techniques. But they, their blocks are there, and and that's world class players right there with great blocks. So we're still waiting on this video review. Let's see how this yeah. is going to turn out. I'm interested to see. I, I think, I do think he'll win the r request. That's how I feel. Well, we're having a problem here because I think one of the technicians is actually in on the machine now. So we're not seeing it on the big screen. And there's a technician uh, who's not For our viewers the out there, sometimes the dartfish can actually be turned off instead of turned on at the beginning of the game. Yeah. And you may not get some of that action at the beginning. That can happen. It's happened a few times. And it's very sensitive. So, and it's a common mistake. So, hopefully, that's not the case. We actually have the video to see here. Well, Rodriguez, uh, Civic um, Rodriguez is, uh, is the world number one in this category. Uh, Civic Wurvi is world number nine on the uh, current world rankings. So, it's always nice to have two, you know, two top ten athletes go against each oh, other yes. as well. You, yeah, know, you know, it's a real heavyweight. Title Cesar contest. Rodriguez is a world class player. And, had a lot of the Pan Am region. I feel like he's won the, the Pan Am uh, gold medal for the last decade. It's probably not been the case, but it <laughs> tells you how long he, I feel like he's been on that team. But me being here as a coach, but going against him and, and having players from not just my country, but from some of my uh, clubs go against him there at these competitions. He's absolutely world class, and, yeah. and he's one of the best guys in our region and for the Fenway division for sure. Very close to Wake in the Olympics, lost out. Last, uh, pretty closely to uh, Carlos Navarro there for the Mexican uh, delegation to go to the Olympic Games. So, we'll just look the replays up on the screen. Um. Oh, he took his card. He did not win that. So, no. interesting enough, we're back to action here with him not, not taking the card. 
Well, they need to get the scoreboard back on the screen first before they can uh, fight. Um, yeah, the speed of the speed of Sawak Warrior is, is, is impressive. He's yeah. fast. Cesar gets him in the head again. He's really good with his front leg to the head, and he, he scored at will. Just his flexibility is is really great. Rodriguez, 23 years old. Sawak Warrior is 21 years old. So these two are going to be fighting each other a fair few times. Yes, they will. I think they have a, a couple of Olympic runs in their in their uh, future for sure. Yeah, it's it's good action right now. You know, a great punch. There's a great punch. That's his fourth punch scored today in this match alone. So first round for him. Yeah, the coach is applauding that one. Yeah, he should. It's I mean it, they're well timed and he feels really confident with it. He about got his fifth one there. So we've got four points to scored and punches scored in one round and that. That doesn't happen. That's hard to do. That's incredible. They're running out of real estate on this screen as well. Yeah, they are. It's uh, this is only the first round. Thirteen points to nine. And uh, finally, we just have a little bit of a uh, little bit of rest breaks out. Oh, great skills from Yeah, Rodriguez. you can see he can, he can just he can just follow. Yeah, hopped across, hunting the head, and then once. He realized there was nothing going there. He just kicked him with the left foot right. instead. Right to the body, right? Yeah. Simple. Great follow, great uh, technique there with the both legs moving, and that's what we like to see. We like to see the front leg uh, probing and the back leg scoring. Yeah, yeah. That move, you know, over the years has really come on, hasn't it, where, you know, where people are hopping across the court almost with the foot up and, and just hunting for the head. You know, it's, it's, it's quite a skill in itself, just athletically to, to hold that pose and hop at a pace and hunt down the other player. Yeah, the they, base leg is staying incredible. underneath him the whole time, giving yeah. him a good base leg. And then, you know, if, if he had the, enough wherewithal to, to put it down and follow with the left leg inside because he knew he couldn't reach him. So that, you know, a skilled player with a lot of experience and both legs working, you know, again, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna be a, a force in the Pan Am region and in the world, I hope, you know, for Cesar Rodriguez for the, a long time. Yeah. God, this is a great match, you know, two points separate each other with, Absolutely. 24 points already scored in one round. Well, Rodriguez, is, uh, he's, he's won six golds in his last seven events. He just uh, he didn't uh, get a medal at the Baku Grand Prix uh, in 2016. He's had a little bit of a breather since then. So this is his first tournament back. Yeah, deduction for, uh, it looked like for holding his leg up or, or leg checking him. So now we've got a one-point game. And there, Thailand, the athlete, so Wakari definitely inside little right leg roundhouse kick just followed it and hit, scored it to take take back his three point lead. Oh, beautiful spin kick yeah, doesn't score, but he'll does go for the score. punch. That's just another punch. And the punch does it again. Yeah, he's he's been so solid with the punch. He's been it's timing it so well, Adrian. That's what I'm so impressed with. He just has impeccable timing on that punch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he put in a four point a three point move there, and it looks as if he may have scored it. But instead of being disappointed, he just follows him with right, the punch. Right, right. One flowing movement. Yeah. Unbelievable. 18-14. Sivak Wuerhi leads over Cesar Rodriguez. The world number one in blue is behind. We've seen a few uh, top seeds go out. We've seen a few world number ones defeated. But, uh, the Thai athlete in red. Have a little breather then. There's the punch. Punch comes good. Yet another one. Yeah, he's just he just has it well timed. He's got he's got Rodriguez off balance a little bit. There's the turning kick and for three. There's a three. Yeah, nice back kick. A right leg back kick has coming in. He's catches Caesar attacking with his left leg a little bit lazy without any motion. And what happens? He gives himself a three point back kick. So it's fantastic stuff here. This is incredible. It's almost too fast to commentate on. You know, it's hard. I'm having a hard yep. time keeping up. Yep. You, we can both say punch, 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 though. <laughs> you just have to let the pictures do the talking here and, and try and keep up. And we're trying to help you out as to how the how the points are going up. Never attempted punch, but came up short this time. But he's got an eight-point lead over the world number one. And he deserves a lead, isn't yeah, he? he? Does. He's deserving of his lead. Oh, that was superb. That was absolutely superb. Rodriguez pulled down his helmit. There was, and he's in a bit of pain here. He might need an injury timer. But 
So it were he saw that he was just slightly off. He pulled his helmet down and he, and he went for the him, punch. Yeah, he's just he's he's huge. made that defensive punch over an, o, almost an offensive move, and he's been a, he's getting so much pressure in on it that they're having to give it to him. He's getting good timing, good pop, good pressure, and he scored more than eight punches so far. So, yeah. one of the most impressive matches of the day, especially from the punch standpoint, for sure. Yeah. Now this is a, this is a worry when there's a was a knee injury like this and well it's almost like he just popped it back in you don't really do that with knees no you don't and so hopefully that hopefully hopefully uh cesar rodriguez is okay it looks like he's going to continue that's well, good to whatever see. she did though i need to ask that medical girl yeah, what she just yeah. did because you know it looked quite painful and suddenly he said I'm, I'm okay i'm i'm going thanks a lot i think she just came out and talked to a colleague and said well i don't know really what happened there but some some miracle suddenly occurred 10 seconds to go in the second. What about this is? What a final. Yeah, with that, with the, with the not fighting or, or, or bringing up his leg without fighting. Oh, that's a great turn. That's very close. That was so, so close. That was really close. That was a great, great time spinning kick there that almost yeah. put this thing completely out of reach. And I think that was, you know, it, was the, it was the soul of the foot, wasn't it, Webb? I don't know if there's, there's maybe not so many sensors there, but sometimes you see with the sole of the foot that sometimes sure. it doesn't seem to connect. No, I think you're right. And, I, and because it was timed, it was there. Yeah. It hit the target. We we all saw it pretty clearly. You're right. Yeah. It just he got the one part of the foot that won't score. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's part of the part of the game. But uh, yeah. but the, the execution of the technique is what I'm in love with there because I think he's executing at the perfect time. He's executing with with precision, with timing, and. And he's not rewarded with the points, but he's yeah. definitely rewarded with the fact that that might be there again later in this game. Well, Cesar Rodriguez, it's tough at the top, isn't it? You, you know, I, I remember I've done a commentary with a few World well Ones, and you know they say everybody's looking up at you. You're the guy that they're wanting to be. You know, if you've got you've got this little, um, you know, sort of. Uh, target on you you could say well, you know you're coming in as world number one everybody wants to beat the number one and here he is you know so that word he is just giving him an absolute tough tough time and there uh, nice bit of respect there shown before the third and final round yeah the target squarely on Cesar Rodriguez is back but we'll see if he can come back from this oh that is beautiful yeah it is this is this is this taekwondo is textbook and it's fantastic to watch from taekwondo that using all these techniques from punches to kicks to spinning kicks to yeah. well they both went for duplicate moves the two points could have gone either way it went red and then uh Cam john as well there was a punch from so were he which only registered one um button press from a, a judge but he's got a big lead here 13 points and he's uh, he's got to be careful like there rodriguez scores with the roundhouse now, surely, so it will be. he's going to be looking at the scoreboard in a second and going, hold on, I've got an 11-point lead. I can now just take things easy. You know, if you're the coach, surely you'd have said this to him, but, you know, you've got a good lead here now, so at some stage... I'm not sure it's in his DNA not to continue to fight here, so... Look at him. Yeah. He's taking chances after chances and spinning and... Turn. You know, it's windmill there, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, working, it's, it's working for him, though. His constant pressure, his constant barrage of... Uh, of techniques uh, forward and back has been excellent for sure. We've got, uh, I think we may have one more final. I don't actually have the sheet for the final coming up, but uh, it's, uh, I think it's the minus 63s coming up. We know Croatia's there for sure, so we'll have to see who he's going to compete with in the final. We've got one more match to come, a final. Yeah, chasing nice chase with by Rodriguez and 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 a 360 or turn Nadabon. He'll get another point for that. That's 31-18 with that. That is beautiful technique by the Thailand player. Yeah, wonderful, absolutely wonderful. 30 points to 18. 12 point difference, just under a minute to go, and understandably, both athletes starting to tire a little bit here. Sawak Wahari just really looks in control of his game. Just pressing the attack, comfortable with techniques. Just over 30 seconds left. We've got 31 to 18. Yeah. This is impressive. This is almost unusual now that we just take a little breather. I think we're all taking yeah. a breather here. Yeah, we are. We've, we've just had uh, an incredible 
amount of fierce taekwondo uh, on this uh, stage here. And I think the, uh, you know, the athletes need to take a breather. The commentators need to take a breather. Um, you know, they, they, I think uh, Rodriguez has realized that uh, this one is over. There's a 15 point difference. You're never going to make that up. And, uh, oh, <laughs> great try there. Great oh try goodness. by, by Sawak Wiri, Wahiri. You've got to admire the maneuver. You know, what yeah. did he just try there? This man is just a points machine. He is. Yeah, he's he's definitely been the, the most impressive of far uh, by far today on scoring here in the finals. Yeah. Well, we had a tie gold medal yesterday. Um, you know, it's almost, and you know, we see Norway, Norway final. You know, there are some new countries coming out. That's sure. Like, you know, in this new four-year cycle, and the youngster, 21 years old, Sivak Wui of Thailand has won 34 points to 19 beating the world number one handsomely. Congratulations to Sawak Wahari. What a great performance today. 34 points and was still attacking with the last 15 <laughs> seconds. That's what you want to see. And look, we have Taekwondo. I feel like it might be back. It's exciting. I, th I think you're right. I, I think it's actually going to be more fun um, commentating on these games in future.